the summer swing home of the PBA and CBS Sports Network. It's an all-new format with titles on the line and player of the year implications. New challenges await the pros, including three new oil patterns that will test their skill and versatility. The best bowlers in the world are on CBS Sports Network, and it begins with the PBA Badger Open. It's a beautiful day in the Bruce City, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Lake Michigan leads you to the Museum of Art in downtown Milwaukee. And not far from there, AMF Bolero Lanes just outside Milwaukee. It's the Lucas Oil PBA Badger Open. Five bowlers compete for a PBA title today. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to suburban Milwaukee. It's great to have you with us. This is Dave Ryan. What a pleasure it is for me to be broadcasting the Geico PBA Tour once again. We also make history on CBS Sports Network today. It's the first ever broadcast of the PBA Tour on our air. And what a week we've got for you with so many great events over the summer. It starts here with the first of five broadcasts. We'll have for you all summer long the winners of the Bear, Badger, Wolf, and Milwaukee Opens are in a spot at the King of the Swing, along with a top points earner to conclude the action from Milwaukee. We have step ladder finals today, starting with the fifth seed, Kurt Pilon, and three-time titleist Michael Haugen, Jr. But right now, joining our top seed, Josh Blanchard, it's Hall of Famer Randy Peterson, RP. So great to be calling bowling with you once again, my friend. Thanks, Dave Ryan. I'm really psyched to be working with you again, my friend. And speaking of psyched, Josh Blanchard is psyched. You know why? Because he's the number one qualifier for this event. Josh, how does it feel knowing you come in today needing only one win to win your first ever title? It's nice that I don't have to throw 10 good shots instead of having to climb the ladder and worry about every player. I only have to worry about one today, and that's what I'm going for. Now, qualifying was done on wood at AMF Waukesha, but today at Bolero, we're bowling on synthetic. How different is your reaction from wood to synthetic lanes? Similar reaction as ball motion, but much stronger bowling balls because the bowling balls aren't going through the, they're going through the fronts much cleaner here than they did on wood. So stronger bowling balls here, and same look. Josh, thanks a lot. Good luck. Randy, Josh, thank you. Here is the oil pattern for the Badger Open. 52 feet by far the longest in the PBA Animal Library. High volume of oil down lane places a premium on accurately repeating shots. We could have a medium scoring pace today. We'll see how the five bowlers respond to this challenging pattern in Milwaukee. The number five seed has one PBA Tour title with two PBA Regional titles from Warren, Michigan, Kurt Pilon. Is that my start? Oh. Are you ready? You can tell it's been a while for Kurt. That's his start. He's ready. Hazel Park Bowl in Hazel Park, Michigan, outside Detroit. His home center. Not a good start. Uh, and you, you heard him say, Dave, when he let go of it, hook. And unfortunately, on 52 feet of oil, it, that's not going to happen. Even though the pattern is extremely long, you can see the players have broken down the front part of the lane and they've moved in. To the middle part of the lane, right around that third, fourth arrow, and you can't give away the head pin on 52 feet of lubricity. One, two, four, seven, and the four stands and open. Early frame for Kurt Pilon. Not been on TV since 2001. Oof. The number four player owns three PBA Tour titles, including one major from Phoenix, Arizona, Michael Haugen, Jr. Keys to victory in. What, Randy, what do you think here for Michael Haugen, Jr.? Well, you know, he's been bowling really good this year. He won a tournament because he's been bowling with a chip on his shoulder. Kind of getting snubbed. Perfect ball. Crunches the pocket. 10 down of the pit. 
getting for Michael Hagen Jr. Excuse me, Dave. Getting snubbed for not being picked uh, for the team series that we had earlier in the season. Just spoke a few moments ago with Michael about that. Using it as a motivating factor to bowl well. And, and on today's telecast, Michael Haugen Jr. is the one with all of the experience. Come on. Matches. A perfect pocket hit. Are you ready, Randy? Are you ready? Yes. 60 feet to success. I've been waiting so Michael long. Michael Haugen Jr. I've been waiting so long for that. <laughs> I don't think you're cold today. It's hotter than hell in here. Whew. He's used to the heat. He's from Phoenix. TV lights really change things. On oh, the TV pair, back to Kurt. Boy, Ugh. and you can see the sweat, the perspiration I, 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 on Kurt Pilon's forehead. He looks like he's got malaria. I mean, and part of that is because of the nerves not being here in so long. You can see the first two shots that he's thrown on television thus far. One goes way light, the next one goes right up the gut through the nose, luckily only leaving the 10 pin. Richie converts for his mark. Kurt's arsenal today. Randy, what do you see here? Going with the defiant soul. Hook potential very strong. Going in the right direction. And that's typical on 52 feet of oil. Players have to get the ball into a roll. They're going to do it with using strong equipment, and they're going to to use surface, meaning they're going to scuff up the surface of the bowling balls. It's kind of like putting chains on your tires when you're in the snow. Uh, hey. uh, Seven. Seven. Rough start for Mr. Pilon. At least this time he hits the head pin on the left lane. And again, it's another shot that goes through the nose, but no split. And it's still early. Kurt needs to somehow keep from the insides wanting to come up on the outside, gain some composure, and find the pocket. Oh, no. Watch it. Whiffs on the uh, seven and open frame for Kurt Pilon. Tough, tough start for the. Former winner back in 2001 in Peoria. Beat Brian Voss, BV in the semifinals, and Paul Kohler in the title match back in 01, 202, 182. Great start for Michael Haugen Jr. A huge lead. It's early. Yeah, but if you're Michael Haugen Jr., you talk about getting loose in a hurry. Start with a double and then have your opponent just open frame. Oh, hold, hold. It holds all right. Perfect line of the pocket, going right at the 1-3 pocket for Michael Haugen Jr. Well, take a look at Michael Haugen Jr.'s form. He's like really there, a baby. dinosaur. When you think about all the power and revolutions out on this tour, Michael Haugen is as straight as they get, down and in player. And I, I think it was, uh, I, I think there was a lot of people surprised that he did so well on the long 52-foot pattern. But he's so good at going straight, and that's what you have to do on this oil pattern. Michael Haugen Jr. taking it to Kurt Pilon early. Stays red hot. It's good stuff. Four straight. Guys battled back. You know, he's had some injuries, had this knee issue. Michael Haugen Jr. has really battled back nicely, capturing the win earlier in the season and off to a great start today. Front four for Michael Haugen Jr. had a tendon knee replacement surgery about a year ago. Says he's finally feeling 100% now. Back to Kurt. Can he find the pocket? He'll take it. I was watching Kurt Pilon warm up earlier, and he was starting with, five, with four steps. I said, what are you doing with that four-step approach? He says, well, that's what I do to get warmed up. Here's the typical position, that great knee bend, and then obviously the great balance at the foul line. He's kind of a middle-of-the-road player in terms of power. He can still get on it, but he likes rolling the ball, and that's, I think that's why he did so well in this 52-foot oil pattern. Pass a double. All right, he's starting to keep food down now. That's a good sign. 
Again, long time between shows, 2001 to 2013. Randy, that can't be easy for a player to make that kind of quick adjustment from being away from the bright lights for so long. No, you're right, and I just had deja vu. No, I, I just thought that I was sitting next to you doing a bowling show. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You are, I, I am. Friend. You are. It's great to be reunited. Don't start singing. That comes later. <laughs> Caught a break. Avoided a split for up for Michael Haugen Jr. After the front four. And that's going to be the typical miss for Michael How Michael Haugen. Unless the lanes break down, he doesn't anticipate the move early. But you're going to see him jamming that ball into the 1-3. I don't expect him to miss light uh, or miss the head pin right. It's not his DNA. He likes to go straight and hard. Throwing a Marvel Pearl. It, it, it interesting that he's not going with uh, the strongest piece of equipment that he has available to him. But obviously, this gives him the best look. And for Michael Haugen Jr. on this pattern, it's all about hold. It's all about missing target left and the ball laying there. The only question I have, Dave, is how long his shot holds up. Does it hold up throughout the day? Great start, Michael Haugen Jr., 16th year on the Geico PBA Tour. He told him, say, I'm 46 years old. I'm a young 46. I can still bowl the young guns and win titles. He looks great so far.